Alright, hello guys. This is another OpenBSD video that I hope will help some people who may be trying to use OpenBSD and maybe you want a volume icon in your system tray. And that's what this video will be about. It's not going to be really in depth. I'm going to show you what I did, how I got a volume icon and after that I'm going to go over a little bit of a deeper explanation of my last video because I think uh, I think some things were taken out of context or taken the wrong way and after watching the video I understand why but I want to maybe go in a little deeper into what I was trying to convey in that video. So with that said, we will get into it. And here we go. All right, as you know, I have been uh, kind of delving into the OpenBSD operating system. And when I used it before, I had found a a package that would uh, it would give you a volume icon in the system tray. Now, after I had installed this uh, latest version, I was just using my volume keys on my keyboard. That's one of the great things about OpenBSD. Uh, the volume key uh, volume keys work. The backlight keys work. And here you can see I am looking for a volume icon and PN mixer, and neither of them are in the OpenBSD repos. However, there is a package you can install, and that package is called Tray App. And what Tray App is, it not only gives you a volume icon that you can use to adjust your sound, uh, your sound levels, but it also provides a battery icon and an eject icon where you can eject hard drives such as USBs on your system. And now we are looking at how I added these uh, all three items I added to my auto start file and that's up to you I went ahead and added all three in fact I'm not using any of them <laughs> but I wanted to show how it was done I'm not using any of them I just use my volume keys on my keyboard to raise and lower the volume but I'm showing what I did to add them so that they would appear in the uh, system tray. And of course, eject, that will be your eject button. Battery will show your battery icon and sound will show your volume icon. And now I have rebooted and well, no, I actually didn't reboot. I just logged out and logged back in after adding those to my auto start. And you just saw that the volume icon works. Now, it does work a little differently than what you might be used to in Linux. You click on the icon and it shows the slider. And to uh, make the slider disappear, you have to click on the icon again it won't just disappear if you click outside of that slider window and that's basically it if you'll install that uh, tray dash app you'll get uh, a volume icon if you want it a lot of people they try the BSDs and it doesn't work for them and they don't go or they don't take the time to really go in depth and try to figure out what I need to do and what I need to 
uh, accomplish in order to run this as my daily driver. And I'm still, you know, I'm not proud. <laughs> I'm not too proud and I'm not ashamed to say that I'm recording this audio on Linux. I, I did the screencast with VLC on OpenBSD and I'm doing this uh, audio on Linux until I can figure out how to uh, do the audio on OpenBSD also. It kind of reminds me of uh, I watched a video lately of someone I'm not going to mention the YouTubers name he did a video showing how easy and I put that in quotation marks how easy it is to install FreeBSD <laughs> and it the basic installation is easy unless you're trying to dual boot or you know if your hardware isn't necessarily supported it is easy to install FreeBSD and what he did he installed it in VirtualBox which is a totally different I mean it's totally different than installing FreeBSD on your hardware and I guess he wanted to show off how quickly he could install it in VirtualBox I don't know he went through it so fast if anyone was actually interested he never took any time whatsoever to explain anything and then when he got to the last part he uh, he got it installed and rebooted and then he was at uh, the CLI where you had to do some extra things and he installed a window manager uh, he installed XORG and I think he installed something else I don't really remember and in his wisdom he put start X and lo and behold it didn't work it, it it didn't work exactly like he wanted or like he was expecting and he had to run another command and that's because he didn't give you the full story running a BSD system is not like running Linux it does take some more uh, some more effort it takes some more time you have certain files that you have to edit in order to have a successful boot into your system and he didn't cover any of that in fact the guy lied the guy lied to the people that were watching the video he said you know I'll leave the I'll leave the rest up to you. It's up to you to decide what you want to do. Just install, uh, just install a display manager. Install whatever desktop environment you want, or window manager. Want. You know, it's up to you. I'll leave the rest up to you. And that's because the guy didn't know what he was talking about. And that's kind of what my last video was about. <laughs> We have these people who are uh, looked at as Linux gurus, and whatever they say, you know, that's just the way it is. And so many people buy into that. Uh, in my last video, when I said that the things that had gone o uh, gone on over the last year had kind of gotten me disheartened. I didn't really go in into what I was really talking about. Uh, when I watch the video again, I understand why it may be taken the wrong way. Because I, you know, I kind of went into what some people perceive as fanboyism, and trust me, I I don't really 
give two cents about fanboyism. If if you use Arch, by the way, I don't. That doesn't bother me a bit. Use Arch, by the way. That's fine. Go ahead and use it. When I said that the things that had gone on in Linux over the last year or so had kind of gotten under my skin and I was disheartened about, I was referring in my mind, and I didn't convey that in the video, and that's my fault. I was, I was trying to convey things like the ousting of uh, Linus Torvalds. I was thinking of things like the code of conduct and how the people who adopted the code of conduct didn't even adhere to their code of conduct toward other people. They were a bunch of hypocrites. I was thinking of the SJW movement and all that that entails. A lot of things have been going on in Linux, you know, I'm, and it, it disheartens me. Here was this fantastic operating system that I found years ago that opened up a whole new world to me. And now uh, this, this may not be an adequate uh, representation but I see it kind of like a hostile takeover. A hostile takeover of maybe a faction in a country somewhere. They do a hostile takeover of another country, oust the current president because they want things their way. This is the way it this is the way we want it. And uh I've probably said too much. I should probably shut my mouth because I'm probably making the video that I did before even worse. <laughs> anyway, this is OpenBSD. It's a fantastic system. If you look at the uh, current usage, it's showing 500 megabytes of RAM being used. And if you look down there at the... Uh, at the tray, we have VLC running. VLC is running a little high because it's actually doing the uh, screen recording. And we have dead beef running. Plus we have three items in the system tray. Now, I personally will not use these items. Uh, I don't need the battery indicator. And the battery indicator does work. I tried it earlier, I unplugged my power cable and it immediately started showing how the, the battery was discharging. Plugged it back in, it started charging again, showed that. The volume icon works, no issues whatsoever. And the eject button, I don't need that. Anytime you have things running in your system tray, it's just using resources. And if you don't need it, why run it? Unless you just want to. Like I said in the last video, people are going to do what they want to do. If you want all of those things running in your system tray, that's fine. Go ahead and do it. But I did want to show people who might want a volume icon in their system tray, one that actually works, a way to get it uh, installed, and how to use it. All right. I have stuck my foot in my mouth too many times. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of the week coming up and a great weekend. You guys take care and thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Thanks.